Regions Refocus is providing the venue for representatives from civil society organizations and us from governments and from governmental regional bodies to sit in the same room and to creatively discuss how to address the issues that are on the agenda, especially now in 2015 in the post-MDG uh, uh, era. La principal problemática de la región es que las estrategias de desarrollo promovidas en esta última década, aunque han logrado reducir los índices de pobreza, no han logrado atacar las causas estructurales de la desigualdad de la región, que son desigualdades basadas en el género, en la raza, en los territorios. The, one of the major concerns we have within the African continent is the drive for large infrastructural development, whether it's to access healthcare, agriculture, industrialization, energy, transport, pipelines. But all this is being done without taking into consideration the, content, the issues around security of tenure of land, um, the regional transboundary environmental due diligence, and other related issues that affect this whole great idea, and especially the linkages. So the, the infrastructure is large infrastructure that is very extra extractivist, but doesn't take into account the small scale producers and access to markets, which is the justification for, for this large infrastructure. One of the biggest concerns is jobless growth. That is to say, we have a lot of economic growth, but many, many people don't have jobs, don't have food, don't have water, don't have shelter, and their living conditions are worse now than many years ago. This is because all our things we export, our things as raw materials, and foreign investors come, they are, they are allowed to take away their profit and not contribute to creating jobs or industry in the domestic economy. سياسة ضريبية في العالم العربي بتضع أعباء غير مسبوقة على الفقراء وعلى المواطنين بشكل عام تسببت في زيادة أعداد الفقراء بسبب الاعتماد على ضرائب غير مباشرة ضرائب استهلاكية زي ضريبة القيمة المضافة أو ضريبة المبيعات في بعض الدول وده معناه زيادة أسعار السلع خصوصا أسعار السلع الغذائية لكن كمان معناه زيادة الفقر وعدم المساواة ومعناه أن خزينة الدولة ما فيهاش ما يكفي لتمويل الحماية الاجتماعية والخدمات العامة the main issue for the Pacific Islands and the Oceania region is climate change. And when you, we talk about climate change in the Pacific Islands, we are not simply talking about rising sea level. We are also talking about rainfall, we are talking about portable water, we are talking about the source of life. The problems that we are talking about require regional solutions. Les couches populaires, uh, Euh, sans descendre dans les rues pour réclamer plus de justice sociale, de démocratie, de dignité humaine et d'égalité entre les sexes. Et donc l'État est obligé euh, d'intervenir pour euh, promouvoir euh, ses droits et ses réclamations euh, légitimes. Et pour cela, il faut que l'État aussi joue un rôle important en matière de développement économique et social euh, pour industrialiser les pays pour assurer des emplois décents et bien rémunérés, pour assurer le droit à l'alimentation pour tous et pour promouvoir l'égalité entre hommes et femmes. Les États de la région doivent effectivement orienter leurs politiques de développement vers la sostenibilité de la vie. Esto quiere decir realmente pouvoir promouvoir de nouveaux secteurs dans l'économie qui génèrent empleo de qualité pour hommes, pour femmes, qui peuvent aider à réduire ces desigualdades structurales y que efectivamente genere una redistribución este, no solo de los recursos, sino también del tiempo, por ejemplo, en la redistribución social de los cuidados. El adela de Rebea Mumkin Tahea Besiesa Amma a la Mustawa Edoel Arabea. أزمة تحقيق العدالة الضريبية هو إنه ده معناه إن الدول لازم تبقى شجاعة بما فيه كفاية إن هي تضع معايير واضحة جدا للمستثمرين هم هيدفعوا الضرائب بتاعتهم إزاي وتبدأ تبحث عن البدائل لتمويل خزينة الدولة بعيدا عن وضع وزيادة الأعباء على المواطنين أهم المشاكل إنه ده بيضع يعني كتير جدا من الضغوط على الدول فده معناه إنه هو لازم يبقى حل يجي على المستوى الإقليمي كل الدول العربية تتشارك فيه وعلى المستوى الدولي كمان. Many African governments from the national to the continental level are taking policies that will make foreign investors contribute to the development of domestic industries and domestic farms. Unfortunately, the, very, the government from where the foreign investors can put pressure on our government not to adopt those policies in international trade and investment agreements. We are really looking at gender equitable trade. 
um, and working with women, women producers, um, working with ministries of trade um, to ensure that all policies are inclusive of gender and that women have equal access to markets and are able to um, realize their full productive capacity in order to be a part of the growth we're trying to achieve. We are forced into a bind where we need to reallocate our, our recurrent uh, finances or dependent on overseas of more assistance from overseas. And this is why we look at the Green Climate Fund, for example, as the, as the opportunity to, 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 to meet the demands of climate change. Me parece interesante la iniciativa Regions Refocus que efectivamente genera un espacio para que entre actores de distintos movimientos sociales y colectivos, por ejemplo el colectivo feminista o colectivos ecologistas o de alternativas de desarrollo, podamos justamente intercambiar sobre nuestras propuestas y alternativas. Regions Refocus make it possible for us to come together and learn from the experience of other regions and how to apply their lessons. It's uh, being able to engage with people who speak another language from, an, from other disciplines, especially you know, speaking to critical economists, right? economists who are, who are thinking politically and, and thinking about neoliberal expansion uh, politically. I think that's, that's been really exciting. A lot of times when you're in the struggle, in the fight, in your own little silos, you feel like you're alone. But when you start to network, especially as it relates to cross regions, you begin to realize that you see similarities in the issues and you would see as a structural problem or a structural issue. And so you could address it that way rather than in isolation in your own silo. C'est une initiative qui nous a offert un espace de rencontre avec des militants et des activistes de partout du monde et aussi d'apprendre les uns des autres, d'échanger des expériences, de bâtir des solidarités régionales, interrégionales et aussi euh, de s'engager euh, à travailler dans l'avenir en vue d'un monde meilleur, plus juste et plus égalitaire.